salute to hoops guys welcome back to the channel another day another video another day of card collecting guys now the hobby things are getting a little weird in the hobby i'm not gonna lie uh today's video is gonna be a little mixed bag of things here um but hopefully it's not too long for the sake of time i don't like to go on rants and stuff like that so hopefully we can make it uh, a decently timed video so before we get into it if you can hit the subscribe button please guys i would appreciate that greatly we're approaching 200 subscribers on the salute to hoops channel crazy to think about uh but amazing nonetheless guys we're at 179 so if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit the subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it and hit the like button on the video if you do like it so let's just jump right into it we got bull bull joining us for today's video guys i actually picked up uh five of these bull bull select rookies on mercari a couple days ago for a total of six bucks which is not bad at all i had to had to get those uh huge bull bull fan uh as you guys know last year i was i was all about bull bull i still am haven't spoken about him a long time uh but definitely am still a fan of his so um we're going to talk, let's see, we got some cards that I picked up earlier. Uh, we got a little bit of a rip session with these Don Russ dollar packs. I'm going to show you guys the one card that I've gotten back from PSA so far, uh, which is a nice, it's a nice card, so I figured we can make a video about that too, and maybe we'll talk a little bit about the hobby as well. So I uh, went over to the card shop earlier, picked up some cards nothing too crazy here guys just some nice little selects and prism little uh diallo select some isaiah roby prism another diallos and then some kz okpala prism bases this card i had to pick up little michael bridges select i believe this is like scope or something like that i don't know what this parallel is but geez that's a beautiful card for sure uh definitely like michael i'm really betting on him to, to do well in the playoffs that's almost one of the sole reason why i got this card uh but i think that uh, if the suns can perform pretty well in the playoffs we might see a, 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 a slight spike in michael bridges if he performs well as well uh, i picked up a lot of his stuff last year for super cheap um but we'll see we will definitely see um as far as card prices go, it seems I, I and I've been talking about the bubble for a long time, guys. I don't know if this is if this is it or not, uh, but a lot of card prices are, are definitely going down in price. Uh, there's probably a lot of things that go along with it, but I mean, um, and I'm struggling. Still, I still don't have my computer, guys. So, or the, otherwise, I would show some probably cool eBay screenshots, but. Uh, Prime example are the Luca PSA 10s. Uh, I think those are selling for about 900 bucks now. So it could be a sign of the times. I guess we'll see. Uh, but uh, the card market is definitely in an odd spot right now. Uh, you got places like Target that aren't even carrying them anymore. That was a rumor for a little bit and it's, it's said to be true now. Uh, they got rid of the whole Friday morning thing. Um, but you know it's 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 tough it's tough being in this hobby on a budget at least as of right now as far as getting sealed wax goes a little Colin Sexton yellow and then Nick Richards but yeah, I can't tell you guys last time I got really any any retail stuff for retail price I mean uh, the average Joe has kind of been priced out uh, for the sealed wax portion of the hobby. Now, maybe we'll see a slight dip in that as well. Troy Brown Jr. Trey Jones. Maybe we'll see a slight dip. Maybe we'll see a full dip. I I, I don't know really uh, if if it, the market's just correcting itself or, you know, there's a lot of people getting into crypto instead of, you know, the actual stock market and cards and people are actually going back to work now and stuff and life's kind of normalizing so um we might actually be seeing uh things with the card market actually go back to normal 
Brandon Clark yellow and as a bookie. We might be seeing the card market go back to normal, like pre-COVID stuff, which I really wouldn't mind. I mean, because uh, I, I really do enjoy ripping, you know, ripping packs and blasters and stuff like that. But at some point, you got to think of of it in an economic sense and, you know, spending 150 bucks on a prison blaster when really the only card you're looking for are either a Lamello or an Anthony Davis, or not Anthony Davis, excuse me, uh, Anthony Edwards just does not uh it it doesn't make sense really to be honest with you kevin love our rookie robert woodard that's just my kind of my take on things guys uh i've really just been kind of focusing on purchasing cards that i like and single cards and kind of building uh like just pcs really because uh I myself have been priced out of, of retail, at least on the resell market for sure. And we got Zach Levine, Kenny Martin Jr. Last pack mojo here, guys. But I've always said this is a definite bubble. A bubble's got to burst at some point. Is this the tipping point? I guess we'll find out here pretty soon because it just, just seems like the card market... Uh, is definitely a nice little John Morant second year there. Perfect. Jalen Smith, yellow Razor rookie, and then Cassius Winston, Razor rookie. Uh, it just seems like the car market is just kind of slowly declining. So if we can just get the actual collectors and people that love the hobby back in it uh, and get the flippers and resellers and uh, all the other people out of it, <laughs> Uh, I think we can go back to normal and hopefully prices will, at least for sealed stuff, might uh, go back to a spot where we could actually all start buying it again. Uh, I did also hear a rumor that Walmart might actually stop carrying uh, sports cards too. I saw that on Twitter. It was only a couple of people saying it, but if they get rid of their stuff too, then Jesus, um, huge hit for the retail market. Uh and I, I'm uncertain what that'll do for the prices of sealed stuff. It, it might uh, leave them where they're at. It might go soaring. But then again, uh, if the prices of single cards are going down, I don't know if there would be a direct correlation with sealed wax as well. Uh, I'm sure there's some sort of like telltale sign or like some clues, but I don't have those clues right now. Uh, but it's just me being a regular average Joe in the market and kind of seeing what the trends have been over the last year or so. Anyway, don't want to bore you guys too much with all that stuff, but I felt like it should be talked about a little reality check. And, uh, you know, if you guys think the same thing, let me know in the comments. Uh, it's, it's just something that I've noticed with the card market, even when I'm trying to sell cards too, like on Mercari, that's where I usually sell them. I've noticed that there's a lot less traffic, a lot less purchases than there were, you know, three or four months ago. Getting to the PSA submission, guys. The one card that I got back from PSA, I'm going to reveal it right now to you. If I can use this editing software on my phone, maybe I can make something cool happen. I don't know yet because I'm still working on that. Hopefully I can get a laptop soon. Uh... But if I can, maybe it'll happen right now. Ooh, maybe. But anyway, without further ado, this is going to be it right here, guys. Let's take Bobo out of it for a second here. And here we go. Boom. So this was one of the cards that I sent in. I believe it was back in January, maybe February. Prior to the, the price hike of PSA, it was the LeBron James... Uh, base tops 2004 got a PSA 9 on it which was a lot better than I thought I was gonna do I was expecting an 8 so a 9 uh, was a definite surprise for me when I got this back uh, if you guys don't know the backstory behind this uh, this is a card that I bought last summer uh, I found it in the dollar bin at one of my uh, local card shops for one dollar of course and 
held on to it when I first had bought it. I believe the raw price on it was 50 bucks and I just kind of soared up over the, as time went by. My buddy who is a huge PSA submitter convinced me to actually finally submit it. So I submitted it with all those other cards that I made a video about, uh, which I sent in at the exact same time and they have not come in yet. yet. So I'm, I'm extremely confused about that, uh, but was really happy to get a nine on this. Um, Def, it's not the tops chrome or anything like that, but uh, with LeBron chasing another ring this year and having a, a kind of a decent shot at it, if the Lakers can stay healthy, uh, we'll see what this card does for sure. I think on eBay right now, kind of fell down in price as well, uh, going back to what I was talking about earlier. I believe it sells for around 300, 300 bucks, maybe 280 300 somewhere around there. The Topps Chrome version definitely sells for more, obviously, for obvious reasons. I think that goes for about $500. Um, but the PSA 9 for this specific card, not Topps Chrome, about around the $300 range, which I'm happy about uh, for sure. I mean, especially since I bought it for a dollar. So I guess you really can't go wrong with that. So, yeah, the one card, my one and only card I've gotten back from PSA, guys, the LeBron James Tops Chrome, boom, PSA 9, 2004. But yeah, that concludes the video, guys. 11 minutes, 30 seconds, 12 minutes. Not too long of a video for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the videos are kind of harder to make now that I don't have the computer, so I'm, I'm working on getting that, but then I have to buy my editing software again. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So I try to just do all of these videos in just one take. And whatever happens, happens, kind of. So this one video was pretty successful. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully my next video I'll have the rest of the cards back and I can kind of reveal those to you. But until then, guys, enjoy the playoffs. And let me know what you guys think of the current card market. And follow me on Instagram. Boom right here at Salute to Hoops. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for the support. Take it easy.